Hey everybody, BK with Masada Tactical here again with another video. I'm gonna try to keep it short. I just made another version of this video. It was about six minutes long. I don't think anybody wants to stare at this face for six minutes. So I'm gonna try to keep it a little shorter. This is the thing. Just had a whole discussion about tourniquets. And I wanna frame it in context for a second. Tourniquets are a great tool. They're designed to stop uh, severe bleeding hemorrhage from extremities, i.e. arms and legs. That information is coming from the military where most operators have some sort of body protection. They have a vest, they have a helmet, which means the only thing exposed is arms and legs, right, extremities. And they're also more worried about IEDs, which may result in amputations and partial amputations and stuff like that. So tourniquets are a great tool for them. Translate that into the civilian world where we don't deal with IEDs very often. And more importantly, our chest and head is not protected. Most of the injuries we sustain are actually to the torso and the head. Uh, research that was published in 2016 showed that in, I believe, 12 or 13 mass shootings that we had, zero fatalities were accounted to extremity hemorrhage, and about 70-some percent were accounted to head and chest uh, penetrating trauma. So that is a big difference, and we need to learn to address that. Now getting into the physiology uh, and, and the science behind it right now, just keeping it really short and real simple. If you have anything going into your chest, your main issue is having the pressure internally increase. So I need to plug it somehow. Commercially, what we have is uh, chest seals, okay, occlusive dressing. This one is made by IFIN. It's a twin pack, which means there's two of them. One to go on an entry wound, one to go on an exit wound. Because chances are if something went in, it also came up. Not always, but oftentimes. Understand that if you don't have a commercially available chest seal, you can use any kind of uh, makeshift uh, occlusive bandages or occlusive dressing, and that can be anything that is sticky that will cover the wound. So it can be duct tape, it can be plastic with tape around it just to seal it, uh, it can even be the pads of an AED. So think about AEDs being all over the place in schools, in hospitals, movie theaters, airports, any public place would have an AED, just tear those pads off and you can use that to plug the hole. So carry tourniquets, they're a great tool, don't neglect them, uh, keep one around, but also Keep in mind that in our world right now, not being in a combat zone, you should have something to address a penetrating chest trauma as well. Okay, Be safe, watch your six, hopefully you never need this. Take care.